Hi, my name is Christine Barker. Welcome to our training video on cloning and moving measures. To get started, um, it's important to know that the cloning and moving is reserved for administrators and power users. If you're a power user, you can only clone and move within the map that you manage. Administrators can clone and move across maps. So let's go ahead and get started. So to begin in finding the, the cloning buttons, we have to go under admin, manage maps. Go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna go ahead, I have a cloning um, training map all set up. So I'm gonna hit edit there. And I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna create a new outcome measure. So I'm gonna go down to here and same dialog box that you normally use, add outcome measures. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new measure. So I'm gonna just call it measure code 90125. And I'm going to do training video. Okay. And you just set your measure code and you name your video. Now you have this new box here called clone. I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm going to, I want this measure that I'm cre creating to be cloned off another measure. So I click that and then I hit add. And then get a dialog box that opens up. And you'll see here that you have some optional cloning data. So these fields here are all, these fields are all optional fields that you can clone. So do you wanna clone the targets and the thresholds? Do you want the same measure owner or data steward? So I'm gonna go ahead and say that I want the targets, thresholds and measure owners to be the same of what the measure I'm cloning. So I select what I want and then I'm gonna go ahead and find the measure that I wish to clone. So it's actually on this map. So I go ahead and find the map that will be um, my source for the cloning. I'm gonna go ahead and keep opening it until I find it. I wanna go ahead and clone measure two. So I find it on the list um, and then I'm gonna hit clone. You'll notice that you are allowed to clone inactive measures as well, okay? But for today's exercise, I'm gonna do measure two. So I go ahead and hit clone and I'll get the message successfully clone. I can go ahead down here and find that measure, 90125 training video, and it's cloned. So if I were to go into edit, I'll see here that it already populated all those cloning fields that I wanted, the optional field as well for power user, and also the target and the threshold that I clone. So it's that simple. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, Chris Barker at massingenuity.com. Thank you.